My sister lives, and I need to follow an elephant. There are no elephants. I have one final trick. Wendy, maybe let's start with you. Okay, so you have decades of production under your belt, but kind of what an exciting and fun film to create for your directorial debut. So kind of talk to me about bringing The Magician's Elephant to life. I'm so lucky. I've been, I've been, uh, you know, storytelling as part of my career for, you know, a few decades. Um, I started very young. Uh, <laughs> but to to actually um, be connected with this project and, and read the book and the script and have such a strong kind of like heartfelt connection to the material and to Peter and wanting to help him find his sister and then meeting Julia and having such a strong connection to her. Um, it was you know, really such a such a blessing for my first time as a director to have both such amazing material, such amazing collaborators, such an amazing team to work with. Um, you know, I've I've seen uh, I've worked with a lot of amazing directors and and really learned a lot over the years. And I was really really blessed to have this as my first first time in the chair. And Kate, you know, I love the theme of being a catalyst for change and the questioning and the sitting with what if, like, how can those two words be so dangerous? I loved that. Kind of maybe unpack that theme a little bit for us. I, it's funny. I never, I never, when I'm writing, I never think in terms of themes. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. I, I kind of discover them after the fact usually with the help of uh, readers, young readers, you know, and I can start to connect. And, and then when a movie gets made, then, then it gives me that distance and I can see the themes even more clearly. And this is so much this what if um, and, and about challenging the world um, and, and how, how are we going to change it if we don't ask that question? And Peter's absolute uh, heroism and insisting on connection and love and, and, and asking the impossible question is just really, really gets played out here so beautifully in this movie. And Julia, I understand your, your daughter was a fan of Kate's work. And so kind of share how that helped maybe make this project even more meaningful for you to bring it to the screen. My daughter, I have three children and all my children are huge fans of Kate's work, but my daughter was just in the Kate sweet spot when this book was coming out and and therefore Kate's book manager actually shared the book with me and we read it together I also read it with my youngest son was just nap I remember when I finished the book he was just napping right next to me on the couch and just just yes the the powerful questions of what if the wonderful themes of family coming together and not just your your born family but your chosen family it just it it meant so much to all of us um it really inspired my children and, you know, when you're a mom, you want to make something that your kids love. So that was really great. <laughs> Wendy, now there, there's a little bit of a departure. So talk to me about the, how the idea came up for like the comical king and the impossible tasks. That actually, you know, was part of the adaptation. Obviously, the book itself is, you know, a, just a, a beautiful and complete story. But for film, we needed to bring in a little bit more action in and sort of have a fuller like act two that really gave us an opportunity to show Peter's grit and determination and resilience and his, you know, not just belief in the impossible, but taking action to make the, that belief come true to make the impossible possible and so um the the king and the three impossible tasks was a um was a, an invention that came that was added with um, julia and, and our writer martin hines and it just really propelled peter's journey and gave us you know ways to show him in taking that action to affect change and to bring about the connection with the townspeople 